Well, we're getting sciency today, which means we're going to need ear protection. What we've got here is two, if I'm pronouncing it right, rotometers. These are a type of flow meter that basically relies on gravity and a slight restriction in order to measure the uh, potential throughput. My thought here is I want to test and see the difference between all the different air fittings that you can get. We have the V style, high flow, big bore, quarter inch NPT fitting. Now this is a color fit, so it is purple. Uh, we also have the M style fitting. The M is the low flow version of the V essentially. Um, we also have the A, which is a green fitting. We also have the T fitting. So what we're going to do, put air in here and then screw a fitting in up here. So when we have a baseline, that'll be the maximum that this coupler is flowing. So if we put a purple one V style up here, these shouldn't really drop because this restriction is the same as this restriction because when it comes to air systems, remember, the weak point is the biggest restriction in your system. So if you do all high flow fittings everywhere except right where it comes out of your tank, all of those high flow fittings are completely going to waste because the low flow fitting coming out of your tank reduces the throughput and you're not going to get the CFM so you might as well just use cheap fittings everywhere. For it to really be effective if you're going to use high flow fittings you need to use high flow fittings everywhere. So here we are with no fitting in as a restriction at the top. Note that pressure gauge doesn't move at all so it shows there's little to no restriction. 6S CFM on the left gauge and about 10 and a quarter on the right gauge, which totals up 16 and a quarter, as you can see in the little on-screen chart. So with the V-style fitting, the gauge, it's really hard to see it, ever so slightly comes off a of zero, and we've got about five and three quarters there, and about nine and a half on the right gauge, which totals 15 and a quarter SCFM, which is still pretty good, but it is a drop. So that indicates that the more fittings we have, the more restrictions there are, it does decrease the total throughput. So if you've got a hundred fittings in your system in between your compressor and your tool, it is going to drop your throughput. So here's our M style. And this is pretty dramatic. Watch the gauge and you see it come way up and then our left rotometer shows right about 4 SCFM maybe four and a quarter and the right one is six and three quarters so 11 SCFM and you see the pressure gauge drop back A style Gauge comes up, showing that there is a uh, restriction there, that it's building pressure instead of just flowing through. And our left rotometer is four and a quarter. The right one, six and three quarters. This sounds familiar, doesn't it? And you'll see why in just a second. Here's our T style. And as you can already see on the screen, it's exactly the same as the other two low flow fittings. Once everything stabilizes out, four and a quarter, six and three quarters, 11 SCFM on all three of them. Why is this not a terribly surprising result for me? We're going to measure the bore of each of these. Now, it's hard to see on camera, but I'll see if maybe I can get a picture of this with a camera. 
the high flow fitting is the same bore all the way through. So this quarter inch pipe thread right here, it is the same bore on the fitting side. All of these other ones step down. It's about 0.3. So give or take a little, let's see, let's get you focused on that. So three thousandths. Our M is right about two thousandths, just a hair under. Our T, the green one, also right about two thousandths. And or wait, that was the A. This one's the T, the blue is the T. See, the blue is also right about two thousandths. So that is a full thousandth of an inch smaller than the high flow fitting. So that's a restriction and all of them are fairly equal. Uh, for the most part, you could measure your fittings and if they're around two thousandths of an inch, they're gonna be a low flow fitting and as we've proven here, they're going to flow less. Now, sure, this is just open flow. Um, I'm going to rework this and do this with an actual tool. Um, I'm going to set that up for another video where we're using an actual tool. That way we can see the pressure drop and all that nonsense. But that's going to come later on because I just wanted to show you that there is a definite measurable difference. This is not just marketing hype. There is verifiable difference in the cubic feet per minute that your fittings can flow. So there is a benefit measurably in using high flow fittings. Now sure, depending on what you're doing, you may not need the high flow. If you're only using your air compressor to run an airbrush or something that doesn't need a lot of CFM, then yeah, you're, you're not gonna need it. But if you're using high power stuff like air hammers, impacts, stuff like that, or painting, because a lot of uh, paint guns now are high volume, low pressure, which means you need to be able to flow a lot of volume. So high flow fittings could be a huge benefit there. But hopefully this was interesting for some of you to see a little bit of the science behind why the air fittings in your system matter. And uh, we'll be doing more with this uh, test setup later on. So thanks for watching. With the amount of fittings that I purchase, you would really think that someone like Milton was sponsoring me. Now, I bought all these fittings myself because I wanted to know. But that's not to say that if Milton were to get in touch with me and send me more air you know what? I don't want any more air fittings. Don't, I don't want you to sponsor me. I've got enough air fittings. Keep them.